idioms. The first one is, yeah, what do you see? This one. Summon Fisk Ivana. What is that? Yeah. Summon Fisk Ivana. Um, yeah. No, that's a little bit unnatural. You wouldn't say it about your skill level. It's more like you're already good at something and then it's just so natural ah, okay, right? okay. because a fish in the water is the most natural thing. Right? Okay. That's so, it. For example, yeah no but you don't, you don't use it inside a sentence so much and eh? you would just say something yeah. like hen er eller you say jeg er som en fisk i vandet eller hun er som en fisk i vandet ah, eh? so you, yeah, yeah, and fisk i yeah so some in fisk yeah, like a fish because you're not an actual fish eh? oh. so yeah eh? so, like a fish in the water yeah. some in fisk i yeah. vandet eh? uh -huh. so yeah I yeah uh, it's a little bit strange, but it's okay. A lot of these idioms you don't mix with uh, another sentence. Like you don't put it inside a sentence. It's yes. sort of isolated. Right? Maybe you have like a personal pronoun or something, but that's it. Right? You don't yeah. make a longer sentence. Uh, so that's basically what it is. Right? But some in Fisky Vanel means that you are in your element, like you feel comfortable, you are confident, right? you feel at home. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Some in Fisky Ah, yeah, no, you haven't heard it before. No. Yeah. It's uh yeah, it, it's uh, Yeah. Yeah, we do have a lot of idioms with <laughs> I mean we like fish. Fish and pork and potatoes and you know that's uh, Yeah, healthy kartoffel, eh? Just one example. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's quite brilliant. Yeah. All right. But but let's move on. What's this uh, next one? Snoo som en rev. Yeah, what is that? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Snoo som en rev. No, do I my clothes? Yeah, well, I mean, you could say it's about being smart, but there are many ways of being smart, eh? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. Or cunning. Yeah, so, cunning. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit hard to uh, tell or to explain it, but basically it's like when someone is very cunning. Eh? Uh, I remember it from uh, I think it's a uh, Tintin, you know the comic, uh, and also the cartoons like "Who snoo some in rail?" You are cunning yeah, like a yeah. fox because it's like cunning, sneaky, uh, calculating. Like, well, yeah. it can both be a negative or a positive context. Eh? So that depends. But uh, yeah, snu som en rev, right? because rev is fox. And it's important, of course, we say rev and not rev, because rev is ass. Right? So that's yeah. a different word, but uh, yeah. you, you already know this. Yeah, my snu. Right? Yeah. Snu, snu som en rev. So that's it. Yeah. Awesome. En flu på vegen. En flu på vegen. En flu på vegen, yeah. Okay, you haven't heard it before. So basically, the literal translation is a fly on the wall. And I, I yeah. think this also exists in English, actually. Mm -hmm. Sort of like to be a passive observer, like something is going on, but you're just yeah. witnessing. You are not participating or being a part of it. You're just like, wow, interesting, like observing in flu Oh, So for example, uh, Hmm. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, not, not exactly. What you're asking about is sort of like you're in the context of a classroom, eh? like there's a lesson. Yes. But in that context, you're supposed to be active. Eh? So it's more like when you are a bystander or observer, eh? like maybe um, 
you are uh, coming there just to observe. Mm -hmm. right? So we don't use it to describe someone being overly passive when they're supposed to be active, but more like they're there just to observe. Right? Or maybe something happens and like the other people, let's yes. say two people are talking, it's like they're mm -hmm. so passionate about what they're talking about. Yeah. So they kind so of forget I'm, that you are there. Yeah. Yes. So if I'm standing in a bus stop and just listening, yeah. I dropping or, or yeah, if, dropping. yeah, yeah. If something interesting happens at the bus stop, eh? yes. like it, if it's just like regular gossip, that's not really a thing. Yeah. Eh? yeah. But but maybe like, yeah, flu vague. even though it's outside and vague is wall, mm -hmm. you can still yes. loosely get away with it. Yeah. Yes. In flu so. And what if I'm uh, watching a, a football match for example no no because that's entertainment eh? if you're watching a, a game or something or a movie or anything mm -hmm. that is supposed yes. to be mm -hmm. like you are the recipient eh? or receiver uh, okay. so that is that doesn't apply mm -hmm. here yeah it, it's more in the context like whoa crazy things are happening and I'm looking at it mm -hmm. eh? yeah. yeah so it's a little bit interesting in flu po vegan <laughs> In flu på vägen. No, let's move on. Mælkeden no. Yeah, at mælkeden. No, I wrote at mælkeden or at mælke noget or at mælke koen. Like, because ko is cow, obviously. And so mælkeden is like to milk it. Same as in English. And like there is something you are extracting for all it's worth, its value. You know, very often used about something monetary. You know, like there is a movie franchise. And then they're like, oh yeah, let's uh, viska melkitnik, let's milk this, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it could, could very easily oh. be interpreted in a in a negative yeah. way because it's, you know, it's kind of a greedy or you're ex mm -hmm. uh, being exploitative of something, right? Yes. It's kind of the vibe we're getting here. Yeah. We are using this expression in marketing. Yeah, exactly. It gets perfect in marketing. Well, it's perfect, but but no one is yes. gonna say, "Hey, come and buy this." We are milk. We are milking it. Like, no, no, no. No one's gonna admit to doing it, but that's what they're doing. Eh? Yes. So when they have a movie franchise and they make like the the eighth or ninth movie, you're like, "Oh, die melkaden virkelig." Eh? So that's how it is. Som ringe i vandet. Som ringe i vandet. What is that? Rings in the water, right? So, uh, domino effect. basically, yeah, domino effect or ripple effect. Right? So, I don't know if I want to say domino effect exactly because that's sort of like it all, like it leads to one thing falling and then the others fall. Like, like everything mm -hmm. starts with one thing, but it is sort of like that. Right? I like to say mm -hmm. the the ripple effect because it is a ripple yeah. in the water. Sorry, butterfly effect. Yeah, okay. Uh, basically, yeah. I think like that movie. Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but, but we don't translate that movie as Rengi <laughs> Vanel. It doesn't sound very cool. Yeah. But but it's uh, it's basically what it is. And like doing a good deed and like helping someone because then they'll yeah. be nice to someone else. You're sort of uh, paying it forward. Like it doesn't mean paid forward, but that is the uh, mechanism of what's happening here. Right? Som ringe i vandet. <laughs> Som ringe i vandet. Ringe i vandet. It's beautiful. Uh, ringe. That's a good word too. Ringe. Right? Because it is ring, but it's <laughs> it's a couple of different meanings. Because it's also a ring on your finger. Right? And it's also like a ringe to call. So that can be a little bit tricky for some learners. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Okay, so this next one is also about the sea or sea animal. What is this? At være en hej til noget. Yeah, that's interesting. At være en hej til noget. Yeah, to be a shark at something. <laughs> yeah, you're right. To be very good at something. High is a shark and it's a very uh, dominant, cool alpha animal. Right? So uh, if you're a shark, then you're good. Right? But of course it's different because in English a shark, like the way I remember it at least, yeah. It's sort of more like yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah. What are you saying? Madison and Fisky Vanel. No, because Fisky Vanel uh, is more like uh, you're just comfortable, like good at it. 
uh, you know, like like for example, I remember this from school. Like, so we had like a film class. I must have been seventeen, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Yeah, Thomas, do some in fisky van and blah 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 something." Eh? Because I feel very comfortable and confident in that area on that situation. But high to know, it's more like you're specifically good, eh? like you're competent or talented. Eh? So maybe you got the, the hula hoop, eh? that little ring or something, or maybe you're doing something else, and you're just so good at it. Then it would make I sense think. to say height, right? Yeah. Like I would say, oh, don't height it there, and you're shocked at that thing. You're really good at that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah but but they are similar. <laughs> height and all, and fisky uh, they they're still different. Yeah, this one. What is this? Yep, they call some Yeah, it's going like. <laughs> yeah, it's going like warm bread essentially. So, ah, de- yeah, oh, de- go some warmed bread. So, what you can say yeah. about this is, yeah, check, try. Um, so, Eddie, uh, um, no, some am I popular? Yeah, basically, it's about something that's very popular, right? Yes. It's something that everybody wants. Got some warm bread, like. so it's of course because in Denmark we love bread so much, so it's you can't avoid it. Uh, imagine the old days in the bakery; this is what everybody wants. Uh, but in the modern times, you know, it could be whatever. It could maybe be a new app in the app store, or whatever. And go some warm bread. So uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Eh? Something popular and everybody wants it. The table, go some warm bread. Well, yeah, you could say den model, in that model, ah, den model goes some vamp. But yeah, in theory, you could say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. if it really sells well, like everybody wants this car. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe everybody like you know. Oh, I want the hybrid car. Oh, me too. Right? Yeah. It would apply. So, goes some okay. vamp brød. Yeah, it, it's a good word in general, right? Because brød is always good to practice. Brød, yes. brød. I know at your level you already mastered that, but I think for someone yeah. at a more basic level, it's like ah oh, that ah that o oh, that d, right? Brød. That's uh, yeah, it's very important.